Hello all, hope you're doing well. It's been a bit of a time, hasn't it? Well, welcome back to the woods. If you don't know me, my name's Laurie, the new camping man. We're gonna have a sit down, I'm gonna have a talk, a bit of an update, and a bit of a serious side. I think we're going to make this area a bit of a sit down, a bit of a home. I'll catch you in a minute. Let's get to work. Perfect. So a serious side. Unless you've been living under a rock in the UK. Yes, I'm talking about the Queen. Now, personally, I never met the Queen, but she did come to my local town where I was living at the time of Southwell, and she came on a visit to the, the Minster Church. I saw her. I did actually see her up close and personal. Didn't get to shake her hand, and I did see, as well, the Duke of Edinburgh. So... What we forget is what the Queen's service meant to us. We often forget how precious the Queen was to this country. I wouldn't say I'm a devoted royal, or royalist so to speak, but I still had my moments where I was proud we had one. And we forget she was a family woman, we forget she was a grandma. We forget all those things. She came from a generation that wouldn't give up and duty was always there. So the Queen, when the occasions like the Olympics in the UK, 2012, hearing the national anthem during the football, hearing the national anthem, we forget what the Queen meant to this nation. And it's so sad, but we have to think about the happy times. She had a sense of humour, which is good. She was really funny at times, but she was devoted to the country. And if one thing we can take from the Queen's way of life or the way she treated tre the country and her duty to service, it's an inspiration for us all. So, RIP to the Queen, rest in peace, and God save the King. So I'm gonna get a coffee then, and then we'll have a talk about some updates. Lovely. So, what's coming up on my channel then? Well, I've got loads of little ideas, so I'm thinking maybe about talking about camping alone for those people who are beginning or starting out, or those people in general who've never really camped on their own while camping or camping in general, and normally go with other people what to expect. So that's one video I'm thinking about, and it is just these are just thoughts, they're not plans at the minute, because things can change. Here, this is a sort of autumn update. So these are things that I'm thinking around this time of year, looking at the change of the seasons, having a bit of a laugh with a few drinks and that nature, a few beers, the normal standard stuff on my channel. I've got a community camp, Knots and Derby one, and that's tonight actually, but I can only stay a few hours for the simple reason I've got family commitments in the daytime. So I've got my wife's, um birthday so i don't want to miss that otherwise i'll be in deep trouble so i'm not going to do that and it's just i'm thinking as well maybe thinking about a few more tours to cities that are nearby me and a bit of a talk maybe a bit of history on them so lots to look forward to catch you again thank you for watching new camping man andy